Hi guys, so two days before I received the official Pi update for the Max Pro M1. This is the 4GB, 64GB RAM variant. And I have been using this ROM for the past two days. And I will talk to you guys about what has changed and is there any improvement in the performance and battery life of this phone after the Pi update. <coughs> so this is officially the Android Pi. So you guys can see the official Pi Easter egg. And also there is the Pi gestures included. And when you first update this ROM, the update to Pi from Oreo, you will not have this uh, pill gestures, Pi gestures enabled by default. You should go into settings. You should go into settings, system, then gestures, then swipe up to home. You should enable this and then you will get the Pi gestures <coughs> in your Zenfone Max Pro M1. And you guys can see that there is a slight difference in the Pi pill shape in this update. It's a little bit different. It has a circle than the official Pi. And other than that, there is the normal Pi features the new notification bar notification shade as well as the new settings uh, everything has changed to pi and then there is a little bit improvement in the camera and you guys can see here You guys can see here the clarity of the photos this was taken in portrait mode the edge detection has been increased and overall the camera has been increased uh, a little bit and also the performance is okay uh, there isn't much difference but what they have did is that they have changed the animation speeds of this phone to 0.5 <clears throat> and you can only see it when you go and when you enable developer options and when you scroll down you will see that they have changed the animation speed to 0 0.5 and the problem is that you cannot change it to any other um, animation speeds if you change uh, it won't just change you can just select it and it just remains the same so that's one of the reasons why Pi Update does feel a little bit faster. Yeah, so we have encountered another bug here. The phone has just freezed. So this is the first time that I am getting this bug <coughs> in this room. So yeah, the official Pi Update does have some uh, bugs in it. Yep, the phone is completely frozen. I guess it will just reboot. Yep. Yep, there the phone freezed a little bit. And this was the first time that I had experienced uh, this lag in this official Pi update. <coughs> and also the app opening speeds are um, a little bit faster. That's because of the animations, um, animation speed that has been reduced to 0.5. And other than that, there isn't much of a difference. And talking about the battery life, the battery life is really good. Really good means it's really, really good. I charged this phone for about 100% um, age. You guys can see that I charged it one day and two hours ago. <clears throat> and I have used it for three hours of, uh, three and a half hours of YouTube. And also I have used one and a half hours of Chrome, WhatsApp for 26 minutes. And the screen on time is 6 hours and 13 minutes. And still there is 33 percentage of battery left. I'm not a gamer. I don't play much games on my phone. Uh, so taking into consideration that um, for normal usage, you will get about one and a half days of battery life in it. Um, so other than that, there isn't much change in the, uh, in the Max Pro M1. Um, overall the phone is good 
and uh, in XJ developers many have told that the update is not stable and there are many bugs uh, the only bug that I have encountered is this lag or this freezing that you guys just saw in this video other than that there isn't much uh, bugs that I have encountered and I will keep you guys updated in any other updates as well as uh, any other bugs or anything that I have found in this phone so talking about the volume the volume is a bit lower compared to uh, Oreo so you do you won't notice it in this video I will just play a track here and you cannot experience the change in volume through this video but you will notice it as soon as you update uh, your phone from Oreo to Pi so the volume has decreased a little bit but it's okay the speaker volume is good uh, it hasn't changed much but uh, the main speaker the main speaker volume has been reduced a little bit and also there is no call recording uh, built into this ROM and if you guys need call recording then you have to look into other roms or try some apps so now i will pay, play some music here and you guys can see the volume so as i told you guys you won't experience any change in the volume by looking into this video uh, but i will tell you guys to update to pi and just experience it and if there are some bugs obviously asus will update the rom and they will fix the bugs so that's it guys bye